Rachel Bowie has lived in Norman since 1997. Her greatest accomplishment is being married to Tommy Bowie for 10 years and having two handsome boys, Noah 7 and Hudson 3. Amber taught fifth grade for the first four years of her career and at the same time held a part-time job at the Women's Resource Center. Her passion for working with at-risk children directed her back to OU for her master's degree. She began her journey as a school counselor eight years ago and continues that journey today. Her greatest joy at work comes from helping students, families, teachers, and friends. For fun, Amber likes to attend OU tailgates and football games and make lasting memories with her family and close friends. Amber Bowie. You have the right to remain silent. I'm just kidding. I always wanted to say that. <laughs> Welcome Chief Humphreys, Officer Tim Smith, our instructors, officers of the police department, family, and friends. I am Amber Bowie, and I'm truly honored to speak on behalf of my classmates, the First Norman Citizens Police Academy. Before we get to stories, I want to say thank you to Chief Humphreys for bringing your vision of community-oriented policing to Norman and continuing what our police department had started in 2008 after, our, after the citizens had passed our bond. Thank you to Tim Smith. You were the glue that held our program instructors and class schedules together. It took a few weeks for you to smile, but after you relaxed, you were a lot of fun. Thank you to all of our instructors for sharing your time to help us understand what you do. Your dedication, passion, knowledge, and enthusiasm for your job is evident, and we appreciate the opportunity to meet and interact with the men, women, and canine dogs in the department. Thank you to our classmates. The interaction between the members of the class and the instructors made coming to class a lot of fun. Fortunately, there were a lot of us that weren't shy, so we were able to learn a lot by the questions we asked and the stories we shared. Are you laughing, Celeste? <laughs> I was not sure. I also want to say thank you to those of you that provided dinner for us those evenings. As I sat down this weekend to write this speech, my seven-year-old Noah sat down next to me, and he began writing. You see, every Tuesday night, my family would be excitedly waiting for me to tell them everything that we did in class that night. Not only did this experience make an impact on me, the following letter expresses what my son has heard me talk about the last three weeks and I'll read it. It was awesome riding a police car. My eyelashes were shaking. We love to blow things up. I love to get tased. Not really, but. I wonder what would happen if you got a ticket when you had your badge in your car. I don't know. The police, dog, police dogs were cute, especially Kilo. Kilo made a special appearance at Washington where my son goes to school. So good job, Noah. Classmates, raise your hand if you were proud and excited to wear your badge to work the day after we got it. <laughs> okay, good, yeah. I sure was. I don't know about you, but my badge is permanently affixed to my rear view mirror, just in case I ever have to show my driver's license and registration. I figure I'll slide that in there too. Hopefully, I won't have to find out, especially with Noah or Hudson in the car. We've come a long way the last 12 weeks. Our first night, we were pretty quiet until we got to ride in a police car doing a staged police chase. We were riding with the sirens blaring, going 60 miles an hour, although it felt more like 100 miles an hour. We were swerving through the cones and chasing the car in front of us. It was so fun. As I was smelling the burnt rubber smell, I had to keep reminding myself, I'm with the police, I can't get in trouble. <laughs> or, surely they won't wreck, they're the police. After the ride, there was a lot of big eyes and big sighs of relief. It was a great way to start the academy. Soon after the police chase, we were given a tour of the Norman Police Department and were shown places that we sometimes only see on CSI. But just so you know, CSI is strictly Hollywood. We were never shown any image enhancers or hologram monitors. Citizens, maybe if we can pass another large bond, we can get some of those things for our own. <laughs> While we were there, we spent some time in the dispatch. It was another awesome experience. It was incredible to think the epicenter of all things safe in Norman is located in the basement in 201B West Gray Street. We also spent an evening touring the University of Oklahoma Police Department. 
For those of you associated with the university now or in the past, you should be impressed with their facility. It went from an old army barrack trailer to a fully functional police head headquarters that OU, Norman, and other departments use on game day and other special events. It's evident that the working relationship between OU and Norman Police Department is positive and strong. One word, taser. <laughs> Others might say crazy, or why, or stupid. We were offered a five second ride, as the officers called it, but one second was plenty enough for me and the four other brave ones to do it. Nobody peed their pants, <laughs> that we know of. No one cried like a girl, or even used foul language. But I did have a burning smell coming from my neck and leg. <laughs> we learned never to underestimate the power of that tiny tool on their belt. Two words, big guns. Others might say, how fun, or so jealous, or the kick. We shot the patrol rifle and the officer shotguns. Some of us were more comfortable with guns than others, and some of our bruises were much bigger than others. But we all felt pretty cool and powerful using real police guns, even if it only was for a night. Three words, blowing stuff up. Others say, oh my God, or are you serious? Or as Marsha said, is that all? <laughs> True story. It was special teams night at the firing range. The SWAT team came out and did a real life scenario. One of the six canine dogs came out and even attacked the officer's 14 year old son. And then there was the bomb squad. They filled a car full of explosives and created a trigger explosion to the front hood and then the trunk. The last explosion was an enormous amount of explosives in a small creek bed next to the range. It was put on a five minute timer, so we had to sit and wait, and wait, and wait. It seemed like forever. We all sat quietly with big headphones on our ears, some of us with our hands over our eyes, and finally the big earth-shaking explosion. Water must have shot 30 feet into the sky. I was sitting next to Marcia, and after the explosion, she looked at me so serious and said, is that all? <laughs> Marcia may not have been impressed, but the rest of us sure were. <laughs> we had fun one week when Tim, Jennifer, and David were all in Miami, Florida for a conference. <laughs> it was our drunk driving night. No, not really. Don't worry, we didn't party without you guys. But we did get to wear the drunk goggles and drive golf carts. In the video you're about to see, you will hear Brad, I'll, I'll try my hardest to do it, but it was something like, <laughs> I'm sure it's no comparison. The group hasn't let him live that down. We're sorry, Brad. <laughs> With all the good, fun stuff we got to see, do, and experience, we also have some of the not so good parts of their job. Drugs, a lot of drugs. We had some of the undercover officers join us and tell us about the drug trends in Norman. That was an eye-opening night, especially as a mother of young children. Our evening at the Mary Abbott House was another insightful evening. Even under the tra tragic circumstances the children have endured in order to be there, it is a place that our community should be proud of. It's a place where healing can begin for children and their families. Our final class was with our own CSI team. We learned ways to get fingerprints, the difference between blood splatter and blood spatter, and most importantly, we learned how to make James feel uncomfortable. <laughs> James isn't with us tonight, but his wife is out here somewhere. Hello. We miss James. <laughs> Tell him to say hi. Just remember, though, CSI is strictly Hollywood. So after Citizens Police Academy is all said and done, we had a lot of fun. We learned what a great police department we have and all the great people that work within it. We have made some great memories. And as James quoted Bess in an email, we were Citizens Police Academy classmates for 12 weeks, now friends for life. Chief Humphreys and all the other officers, will you please stand? <laughs> On behalf of your first Citizens Police Academy, Thank you again for this experience. Your hard work was evident and very much appreciated. We promise to advocate for you, our police department, just as you advocate for the citizens of Norman. Thank you.
Well spoken. Uh, the next speaker will be the Norman Police Chief, Keith Humphrey. <coughs>